Well, good morning everyone. And just before I turned on the camera, there was a robin there, American robin, and he flew off there, but that was the first one I've seen the year. And I just wanted to show you my latest project. And this right here is a smokehouse slash smoker house. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I mean by that. Uh, first of all, I got them built off the ground, uh, just over two foot there. Uh, uh, so I'll be using this in the winter time as well, you know. Uh, yeah. This uh, first compartment is four foot by four foot, five foot walls, and I'm going to use this place for cold smoking fish. I got to put a couple of racks there, and we're also going to have a, a piece up here for hanging the fish vertically as well. And uh, I'm going to put like a flange in the side, so all the smoke coming in, uh, the source of the smoke be. Uh, uh, quit away from the smoker, you know, to make it safe and they be a metal flange there and whatnot. But uh, more on that later, I guess. Uh, I will be on getting ready for fishing, so uh, this project, I guess, I'll have to put this on hold again. Uh, I actually started this last fall, I done the, the floor and had it framed out, and then trapping season started, so I put it on hold. And so now this is what I've been working at the last couple of days. And over on this side now, I got like two compartments and Get a screw up here just to hang it here for now, and uh, in here I'm going to be storing like uh, the wood chips and stuff for the electric smoker. And now in here I got like different size chips, but uh, but they're all apple wood chips. I really like apple wood for for electric smokers. And uh, I think two of the latches here, yeah, System in this, but I just got a couple string, string tied on there for now. So, in here, I mean, uh, this place is stored electric smokers, and uh, the only thing I could do, I could put like a middle platform along here. And so, depending on which one I want to use, I'll take her out, lodge her on the middle platform, and use her. And then, after she cools down, put her back in there again. and. And when, I, when I'm using, I'll put hang the door there and then also protect the smokers from the weather. So, you know, I've got a nice big long eave here, wide eave, to protect the, from any rain or anything. And it'll also block off any of the wind. And so, so I guess, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we enjoy smoke fish, have a quit option. So I said I'll do a, a nice smoker for the backyard. here and this box is four foot by four foot and uh, I'm gonna use this one for planting potatoes in and that soil I got last fall that's froze there yet but I got some fish guts and shrimp shells and everything gone in through that and I got more soil covered up there and uh, yeah I'm gonna use this one for planting potatoes uh, I got on uh, this one on legs keep them off the ground because honey seems to uh, like digging in the garden their dog <laughs> so yeah, so I got this one, I call this, you know, pretty much extremely raised garden bids, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we got two garden bids right here. I got time, I'm going to put uh, those on legs as well. This middle frame right here, I bought that off the next door neighbor last year for 20 bucks. And as soon as I seen it, this come right in my mind. So I made a, a couple of garden bids to, to fit it. Now this one down here mightn't get a whole lot of sun, but uh, I said I'll put one there as well, line edge, plant some stuff line edge there. But uh, I think uh, most all the garden bids are going to make from now on is going to be on legs, up kind of high, just so the dog won't be getting at it. And right there is a cherry tree I planted last year, and that's our rhubarb patch right there. Well guys, today's project, uh, a case in the back of the steps, you know, like a lot of dirt. It comes down there when you're going back and forth, and so I'll be able to keep that area a lot cleaner now. And uh, today, uh, don't mind the mess because the little fellas that stuff here too. Uh, I'll clean all this way now later on this evening. But today I made the, the frames for uh, for lodging the, the fish on, and I got them put in the smoker. So let's go have a look at those. 
Well, I tell you, the snow uh, wasn't lying to Milton, and the wife and kids was out, painted the bridge and the picnic table. And in here, I made uh, six frames, and I just ripped two befores, nice and hefty, but you know, going to be sturdy. Wanted to last a long time. <laughs> I don't have the mesh on them yet, but we're going to change uh, the belly and the shrimp trowel, so I'll get like a lot of a lot of good free mesh <laughs> to go on top and those those here now is temporary want to get the mesh on in I'm going to put those there and those will be permanent ones you might slide off there now because we're there a bit thin and uh, when the mesh is on there I'll just slide it out lodge the fish on the rack and slide it back in place so you know I got six it will hold a lot of fish so Want to do a big batch of coal smoke will be done here and then want to do a small amount or whatever or do it over here with the electric smoker. That's pretty much all I could do with the smoker right now. Uh, getting ready now soon to go down and get ready for fishing. Uh, and when we're down there hope to get seal hunting. Well I'm going to get seal hunting. <laughs> Hopefully get a little goose hunt in. And won't be too much longer. I hope to have an updated video on uh, the freshwater uh, mussels slash clams. <laughs> so yeah, be a lot of videos coming, and later on be some fishing videos or whatnot. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, this one I just uh, just to show you the smoker for now, and next time I'll show uh, show and he'll he'll be in use. Uh, so I guess that's it for this one. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the great, fantastic mothers out there. We got a goose took out to roast up tomorrow, and uh, it's gonna be a fine feed for sure. So stay safe, everyone. Take care, and all the best from the big land.